What is up everyone? Got a new trailer reaction video for you. Today we're looking at the first trailer for Harley Quinn the movie. Which may or may not have some of the Birds of Prey in there too. But not Oracle. Because who wants to see Oracle in a Birds of Prey movie, right DC? You know what a Harley Quinn is? A Harley Quinn's role is to serve. It's nothing without a master. No one gives two shits who we are beyond that. The Joker and I broke up. I wanted a fresh start. Well, well, go back, go back. Wait, wait, what? The only day in Gotham looking for emancipation. Can we go back to the Joker for a second here. What happened? To all that stuff. Wait. Spectacular news. Okay, we're just moving on. She brought me. You guys. Here's the deal, Quinn. Whole lot of. You need me. Whole lot of Harley. Okay. He's after all of us now. None of us are walking out of here. Asshole, Marilyn Monroe impression. Unless we work together. Work together with who? All I'm seeing is Harley. Oh, okay, so there's some randos in there. We should order pizza. Big cosmos. Harley, focus. Surprised I didn't put Ivy in there. You're gonna give her a girl squad. I'm the one they should be scared of. Not you. Not Mr. J. Because I'm Harley freaking Quinn. Who's having a good time? Get ready, ladies. Chick. I'd never call a woman a chick. I'll accept broad lady woman, and on occasion bitch. Bitch? What are you talking about? Who is this kid? Me, will you? There are very few birds of prey in this birds of prey movie. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Joker and Harley broke up. And it looks like that happens prior to the events of this movie. I guess Leto didn't want to cut his hair or something. So, what was all that crap in Suicide Squad about then? I mean, that was their whole story in that movie. Harley wants to reunite with Herb Puddin, Joker wants to get Harley back because they're actually a legitimate couple in this version. Then the movie ends with Joker finally breaking Harley out of jail, and now that we have a chance to actually see them as the couple you were building them up to be, suddenly it's all, no, we broke up. Just like that, huh? You don't want to tell a story with it or anything? So, one of the only narratives in Suicide Squad that people might have wanted to see get explored more is just, poof, gone? Because f continuity, right? No one cares about that. It's not like a continuity-heavy comic book movie just became the biggest movie of all time or anything. Nah, people don't like that stuff. Get out of here. Here's a team shot, I guess, and holy crap, does this look generic. Alright, that's Mary Elizabeth Winstead on the left here, so I guess that's Huntress? But you couldn't put her in the costume? You couldn't at least try to make her recognizable or unique? Huntress has a badass costume. Why wouldn't you want her to wear it in the movie? And who is this on the right here? Like, who is that? I know they're race-bending Black Canary, but is... Is is that her? Maybe? I, 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 I don't know. Apparently the movie doesn't want to put them in their costumes, so I, I, I have no idea. I would think that if you're gonna cast an actress who looks nothing like the character, the least you could do is put her in her costume so fans could pick her out of a crowd. And who is this kid? I heard Cassandra Kane is in this movie, but this looks like a regular teenage girl. Seems like she's talking normally, so I guess it's not Cassandra Kane, but if it's not, then who is she? And if that is her, then it looks like they just threw some rando in there and called her Cassandra Kane for fan service. I mean, she seems like Cassandra Kane about as much as this chick looks like Black Canary, so who the hell knows? All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm looking up the IMDb. 
Okay, girl on the right, that is Black Canary. Okay, that's definitely a different approach. And Rando Teenage Girl is Cassandra Kane. Well, you had me fooled. Congratulations, movie. This does kind of sort of look visually and tonally consistent with Suicide Squad, or seems to take place in the same universe at least, but continuity is being chucked out the window, obviously. They're throwing in a bunch of new characters without even giving them origins first. They're completely unrecognizable. No one looks like they're supposed to look except Harley. And, and hey, look, I like Margot Robbie. I like her as Harley Quinn. But this looks an awful lot like her ego just got away from her, and she made the whole movie about herself, and then just threw in some ancillary characters for shits and giggles. So why even call it Birds of Prey in the first place? This is 100% Harley Quinn the movie, and I'm sure Harley can carry her own movie, so why not just do a Harley solo movie? It seems like they wanted to do that anyway, and then do a Birds of Prey movie separate where the Birds of Prey can actually be the stars. Here, the Birds of Prey just look like a bunch of nobodies. That's not a good way to introduce new characters. You know, when Marvel introduced Black Widow in Iron Man 2, Sure, she wasn't the lead of that movie or anything, but she stood out from the crowd, she had cool stuff to do, she was allowed to shine on her own, and she didn't get overshadowed by the main character. Can you honestly say that about the Birds of Prey here? I don't think so. Well, I guess it's too soon to be sure, since apparently they're reshooting chunks of the movie with a different director, but the impression I get from this is that they took the Birds of Prey IP and twisted it into a Margot Robbie vanity project slash transparent female empowerment vehicle, because everything coming out of Hollywood has to be about that now. I don't even read the Birds of Prey comics, and I can tell there's a lot wrong with this. But maybe they can save it in reshoots. We'll have to wait and see. So what do you guys think of this trailer for Harley Quinn the movie guest starring some of the Birds of Prey? Let me know in the comments section. Like, share, subscribe, smash that bell icon, and follow me on Twitter using the link in the description box so you'll always know when new videos get uploaded, and I'll be back soon. See you later.